The smash hit Neta Barzilai with her unique and powerful style has been shooting higher and higher ever since taking gold at the 2018 Eurovision Song Competition, but things were soon to change for everyone. The deadly coronavirus pandemic spreading across the world and shutting everything down in its path. Months of closures and hardships, including in relationships lying ahead. Usually, one of my most fun parts was to sit and ride in a coffee shop and look at people and you can't really see them anymore. They're there, but there's more barriers now that we've got to have to learn how to break. One of Barzilai's newer singles, Cuckoo, now taking on new meaning then, distancing orders making us feel trapped. I'm like a bird in a cage and I'm gone, cuckoo, cuckoo. I know that I can escape, but I don't want to hurt you, hurt you. The melody turns inside in a loop, in an infinity loop that turns and turns and turns forever. Um, like the melody is caged. And, and, and like this beautiful, sad rhyme is, is cake. So uh, this for me describes this period of time. Well, from the struggle came an opportunity to turn lemons into lemonade and to reconnect with fans. This whole quarantine situation uh, made me actually get into my studio and it made me create. I had nowhere to run, no bar to go sing at, no friends to meet. <laughs> um, and I, I just needed a way to engage with my fans and to engage with my audience. Uh, so I made up Netta's office, which is what you see here. In a podcast-like format, Netta releases periodic 20-minute episodes where she performs and communicates with her fans. But more than just an outlet, Barzilai uses her new platform to advocate for those who haven't been as lucky. Obviously, being closed in these four walls gave me all of the opportunities to... to, to I, I, I figured out all I needed was this room um, in an artistic way. Um, but to say I'm grateful for this is wrong because yesterday I had a conversation with one of my former employees telling me that he couldn't feed his children. When you think about how much money I'm making or how much money an artist makes, he supports hundreds of people behind him. And when you think culture and art is in is a privilege, you're so wrong. It's a necessity. I'm like a bird in a cage and I'm gone, 